Hello, MCU fans. Today, we're going to take a look at the state of villainy in the MCU. In the same way that the president gives a state of the union each year and tells us how things are going in the country or, or how they're not going, uh, we're going to look at the status of each villain and determine who's dead, who's alive, and in some cases, who's reformed. So you can maybe take a guess in advance of where those numbers may fall of will there be more dead, more alive, more reformed. Um, and obviously to discuss the status of villains in each property, movie and TV show, there'd be a lot of spoilers. So if you haven't seen everything that's at least been released in the MCU, uh, I'm not going to talk about things that aren't released and, and go into theories and things like that. But for every property that's been released, we are going to discuss some spoilers. Uh, so maybe be careful in the, if you haven't seen it all. But if you're watching this video, you've probably seen everything in the MCU. So let's dive right into the state of villain in the MCU. And we're going to go through each movie in release order uh, very quickly until we get to the end. And then we will do some analysis of who's left. So we have Iron Man. Iron Man introduced uh, Obadiah Stane slash uh, Iron Monger and Raza with the Ten Rings. And by the end of the movie, both were dead. We have Incredible Hulk brought us the Abomination, Ross and Samuel Stearns, who sure looked like he was becoming the leader by the end of the movie. In fact, uh, in a comic tie-in, S.H.I.E.L.D. captures him and takes him into custody. So uh, certainly seems villainous. I hope he comes back. Uh, by the end of the movie, all three were left alive. Uh, Iron Man 2 brought us Whiplash, Justin Hammer, the man, love Justin Hammer, and Senator Stern, who, of course, we learn later is Hydra. And you know what? Once Hydra, always Hydra. That's probably why he was so sketch in uh, Iron Man 2, trying to get that armor. Uh, by the end of the movie, one dead and two left alive. Then we have Thor, one of the all-time villains introduced, Loki, also Lofi, the destroyer, and Sitwell, who, of course, we will later learn is Hydra. And by the end of the movie, two dead, or in the case of Destroyer, destroyed, and two left alive. And it's worth mentioning that obviously Loki and Sitwell are both going to keep appearing. From a count standpoint, they're only counted once, so you won't see the count go up again for them if they're left alive. However, if one of them were to die, then they might move from alive to dead. But uh, for obvious reasons, we're not going to count the same person more than once. So Captain America brought us the Red Skull, brought us that jerk that shot up the room when Captain America was getting the, the uh, super soldier serum and turned out, of course, to be Hydra, and Arnim Zola. By the end of the movie, bye-bye, dude. Uh, but both Red Skull and Arnim Zola were left alive in some uh, way, shape, or form. Because I just didn't believe Red Skull was dead. I didn't know what happened to him, but it, it just sure didn't look like he died. So we're not calling him dead at this point. Uh, in Avengers, we brought the, we got the Shatari, we got Thanos, the other, uh, Loki, and of course Sitwell appearing again. And by the end of the movie, all of them were alive. Now, I do realize a ton of Shatari were killed, a ton, but the whole race wasn't wiped out. And since they may come back for revenge, you never know, we're going to call them alive at the end of the day. But wow, a lot of them were dead. Uh, Iron Man 3 brought us Extremis, uh, AIM, uh, Aldrin, Aldrich Killian, and of course all his compatriots, some of whom were juiced up with Extremis, uh, brought us the fake Mandarin and the vice president. Man, kind of felt sorry for him. He, you knew why he did what he did uh, because of his daughter, but he was also willing to let a lot of people die. So sorry, buddy. Villain. Uh, boy, a lot of deaths. Four deaths. And then our first uh, reformed. Uh, the Mandarin, I believe by the end of the movie, was reformed. Still had to go to jail, but was reformed. Vice president, not reformed. Sorry, buddy. You're going to jail. Thor the Dark World brought us Curse and Malekith and Loki back again. Yes, it did look for the minute like Loki died, but of course we learned he was not dead by the end of the movie. So two dead and one left alive. And again, you know, Loki is not increasing the count. That's why alive didn't add any more. Uh, then Captain America the Winter Soldier. Now we find out who's Hydra and who's not. Well, Sitwell's back and Pierce and Rumlow. Uh, Arnim Zola comes back as a computer, but still here, obviously. Batrick introduced Senator Stern back, and of course, the Winter Soldier. Three dead, and the Winter Soldier reformed. So, awesome. Glad to have you back, buddy. Uh, you know, by the end of the movie, remember, he rescued Captain America. That's why I consider him on the path to reformation there at the end of the movie. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow, ton of cool villains. Uh, the Collector and Yondu and uh, Korath and Ronin. Uh, of course, Thanos comes back again. Nebula, the other. Wow, lot going on. I mean, yes, you could briefly call Gamora, I guess, a villain, but 
not not long at all was she really villainous. Uh, so uh, lot, lots of great villains introduced, and by the end of the movie, three of them died, four of them still remaining to appear again. Uh, then we have Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, it brought us Baron Von Strucker, Ultron, Klaw, uh, Ulysses Claw. I like Claw better. Uh, and uh, Quicksilver and Wanda. By the end of the movie, two dead and two reformed. Well, until one of them died. <laughs> so, bummer. At least he died on a high note, right? Um, so, three dead and one reformed by the end of the movie. Uh, Ant Man brought us Yellow Jacket and Mitchell Carson. Of course, Mitchell Carson was that dude that snuck away with the pin particles at the end of the movie. Uh, so, at the end of the movie, we have one dead and one alive. And yes, I have heard rumors that Yellow Jacket might come back. I mean, it sure looked like he was dead. But if he was sucked in the quantum realm, I guess he could technically come back. But for now, we're calling him dead. I just won't be surprised if, we, if he does sneak back in um, Quantum Mania coming out. Uh, then Captain America Civil War. Rumlow's back, but has crossbones this time. Baron Zemo, and we finally get to see General Ross again. And now General Ross instead of Thunderbolt Ross. Um, by the end of the movie... One dead and two left alive. Then we have Doctor Strange, brought us Dormammu, Chrysalis, and Baron Mordo. I mean, Baron Mordo didn't really take his villainous turn to the end of the movie. Uh, and of course, he would think he's not a villain. But um, the way he wants to kill every sorcerer, yeah, probably that would be villainous. Uh, one dead, two alive. You could technically argue Chrysalis was not, Chrysalis was not dead. He's facing eternal torment with, from Dormammu. But that's actually worse than death. So we're... We're going to call him dead. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 brought us Ego and Taserface, as well as the Ravagers, uh, Aisha, uh, Nebula, Yondu, lots of cool characters. Uh, two dead and two reformed. Well, until one died. So clearly Yondu and Quicksilver have shown that it's not always easy to reform in the Marvel Universe. It may be a way to mark yourself for death by the end of the movie. Uh, so that's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Then we have Spider-Man Homecoming. Lots of cool villains introduced as well as uh, teased. We have Shocker 1, Shocker 2, Vulture, Tinker, potentially the Prowler, and potentially Scorpion. Uh, by the end of the movie, one dead, Shocker 1. And, you know, I do realize down the road, Vulture is going to get sucked into the Sony universe because of Morbius. I'm going to pretend like that just didn't happen. Or it was a different Vulture or something. Because honestly speaking, that should create an incursion from the rules we've later learned. So I don't want an incursion to destroy Vulture. I want him back. So we're, we're, we're just going to assume he is still around for good, and I'm not even going to talk about Morbius later. It just it didn't happen. Um, Thor Ragnarok brought us tons of cool villains. Surtur and Hela, the Executioner, Fenris, Grandmaster, Topaz. Wow. And brought us a lot of carnage. Because five of them, five of them did not make it out of the movie. In fact, technically Grandmaster wasn't left in a very good position, but he was alive. He was still alive. So we're going to call him alive for now because I do think we're going to see him again. At least I hope. Uh, Black Panther brought us uh, some pretty cool villains. Killmonger ran way up there. Awesome. Nojabu at the very beginning of the movie. Uh, and then uh, Claw back again, this time uh, with his uh, uh, super-powered arm. And by the end of the movie, all three dead. Yikes. So... Uh, Sorry, R.I.P. everyone in Black Panther that was villainous. Um, Avengers Infinity War brought us a lot of cool villains. The whole Black Order on the top row there. Thanos back again. General Ross back again. Wed Skull proving he was still alive. And Loki coming back again. Boy, a lot of carnage in this one. Five dead um, by the end of the movie. Uh, and really dead. Loki is really dead. Now, we know that a variant Loki will appear Yes, that's true. But uh, the actual Loki, dead. Uh, so, um, and uh, three made it out of the movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, brought us some pretty cool villains. Uh, Sonny Birch, the Ghost, and Goliath. Now, you know, Goliath, you could argue, wasn't necessarily a villain, but he, he was willing to leave um, uh, the Wasp trapped in, Janet Van Dyne, trapped in the Quantum Realm just so he could help Ghost. I understand why he did it, but that was kind of a villainous move. So uh, by the end of the movie, though, all three left alive. Uh, I suspect we're going to see Sonny Birch back again and, and hopefully Ghost and Goliath. Uh, Captain Marvel, which, of course, is a 
prelude uh, movie, so I didn't include some of the folks who we later knew their fate, like like Ronan and Korath. Uh, of course, we know they're both going to die, so I, I didn't include them. You know, technically, you uh, you know could have included them at this point, but anyway, I did not include them for that reason. Um, but we did get uh, Jan Rog um, and all of his team, and also the Supreme Intelligence. And by the end of the movie, ah. Oh, just Minerva, poor Minerva. Of course, it's fine. The actress came back as Circe, so she's doing fine. But I, I liked Minerva. So that was a cool character. But everyone else is technically still alive. I don't know exactly how long Kree live, but I would guess they're still alive even in present day. So we'll see if we see them again. Um, then we have Avengers Endgame. It brought us two versions of Thanos. The original Thanos uh, and then the variant Thanos. It also brought us a variant Nebula and General Ross again and Red Skull. And by the end of the movie, we lost original Thanos, variant Thanos, and variant Nebula, uh, and still left two left alive. So I, I really think the Red Skull might be released from his curse because the uh, Soul Stone is gone. So it'll be interesting to see if we do see him again. Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, it's interesting. Obviously, Mysterio. Uh, all the other villains were creations of his... Um, drones so i'm not listing them i could have listed them but they wouldn't count because they weren't real so really just mysterio is the main villain which is pretty crazy considering all of the fight scenes in that movie but yeah mysterio was it and i am going to assume he's dead i mean there's a lot of theories that maybe somehow he lived but it just does not seem uh as likely that he's alive than that he's dead so we're gonna we're gonna call him dead for now um then we have wandavision so we're finally into the tv realm uh now, this is interesting. You might ask, why do I already have a halo around Wanda? Well, keep in mind, she came into WandaVision reformed. Uh, but we're going to see that when she leaves, nope, she's moved to villainous. And you could go a couple reasons why she was villainous. Obviously, what she did in Westview was wrong. But also, uh, by the end, where she's looking at the dark hold, you're like, oh, man, this isn't going to end well. On the other hand, Haywood, uh, with damage, uh, with a sword, rather, is arrested, and Agatha is trapped, but alive. Then we have Falcon and the Winter Soldier that brought us the Flag Smashers, U.S. Agent. Batrick came back again. We see Val for the first time, and we see uh, Sharon Carter, who takes a turn for the worst, as we learn she's the power broker. Uh, by the end of the series, two dead, and the rest are all alive. Then we move into Loki. Um, now, this is interesting. You could call Loki a villain because uh, the variant Loki was a villain. But even by the first episode, he kind of was having his moment and, and turning. So I could include him and then uninclude him. But um, instead, we're going to focus on the real villains, which were He Who Remains and Ramona. And of course, by the end of the series, He Who Remains was dead. Now, Kang is going to come back, but we haven't seen him yet. Uh, but Ramona was very much alive, sneaking away. It'll be very interesting to see where she reappears. Then we have Black Widow. Uh, Black Widow finally brought us Drakov, uh, brought us a Taskmaster, brought us Ross yet again in a, in a uh, prequel, but at the same time, his last actual appearance before the actor died. So it's kind of a bummer. Uh, Val comes back again, and Yolina. See, now Yolina, I'm going to call a villain because by the end, she was working with Val. Now, is she... A confused villain? Yes, she is. But she also would have done fine with killing Hawkeye based on misinformation. So I'm going to go villain. Sorry, Yelena. Love Yelena, by the way. Incredible new character. Uh, by the end, really only Drakoff dead. Everybody else uh, still around. So pretty cool. Uh, what if? Now, what if? Um, I mean, you could argue in various episodes there were villains here, villains there, but we're talking like real villains that stuck around that are going to have impact. And boy, ultimate uh, Ultron there, Infinity Ultron, however we want to refer to him, with the Infinity Stones, whew, he's still around, and Sinister Strange. And by the end, though, uh, Sinister Strange um, was redeemed. I would certainly have reformed, I would say. And not so much for Ultron. He's still around. And I, I really do think they may do something with that plot line. And then we have Shang-Chi, fantastic movie, lots of colorful villains. Uh, Wen Wu, the Destroyer in Darkness, um, the Death Dealer, um, and of course Abomination comes back again, um, and um, 
uh, sorry, Razor Fist and uh, Zhai, Ling, Zhai Ling. And so by the end of the movie, uh, Zhai Ling really took the turn uh, for the worst at the end. You kind of wondered, you know, she kind of seemed like she had an edge to her. But of course, by the end, when she gets the Ten Rings going again, definitely taking a villainous turn. So we have three that died uh, and then four that are still around. Um, then we move on to the Eternals. Now, with the Eternals, uh, Icarus, clearly a bad guy. Um, I just listed one Deviant. I mean, obviously, there were multiple Deviants, but Crow was the main one, and then Arishem, who, again, Arishem would say he's not the villain, but he kind of wanted to destroy the Earth, so I'm going to go with villain. Um, two dead, one alive at the end of Eternals. Then we have Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye brought, it, brought in a lot of street-level villains. Uh, the Kingpin and his organization, whether it's the track shoots or Kazi, um, Kate Bishop's uh, mom, uh, Eleanor, uh, who was obviously working for the Kingpin, Echo working for the Kingpin, and then Yelena coming in now. Yeah, pretty much villainous, looking to kill Hawkeye. Again, love Yelena. Nothing against her. She was misled, but you got to go villain. Uh, by the end, everybody is pretty much alive. Now, Kingpin, you could argue, sure looked like he was killed, but we all know he's back, and we didn't see a body. And I'm going to go with, uh, with uh, Echo being redeemed. I think Hawkeye's speech to her turned her around. And it'll be interesting to see what she's doing in Echo. But for now, I'm going to call her uh, reformed uh, at the end of Hawkeye. Then we have Spider-Man No Way Home. Way cool. Bringing back all the main villains. Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Electro, Sandman, Lizard. Wow. And then <laughs> kind of Venom, right? We got, we got a glob of Venom, ultimately. Um, so by the end of the movie all reformed because they were cured. So, and also shot out of our universe anyway, so we're not going to see them again. But it was kind of cool that they were all reformed. And then, of course, Venom just waiting in the wings. Moon Knight, um, I mean, you, you could argue Khonshu was a villain. I, I don't know what to do with him. I, I'm not going to include him because I just, I don't know what to do with him. Um, and, and, of course, there were others that Moon Knight fought, but really, Haro is the main villain fantastic villain, by the way. And I'm even though we didn't see a body, in this case, I am going to go with dead. Now, I hope somehow he's not dead, but I just don't see how Jake Lockley shooting him three times, that, how that wasn't to kill him. Who knows, though? I guess he could still be alive, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with dead in this case. Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, Sinister Strange, Gargantos, Wanda, who again had, had be become unreformed and now is in fear, full villain mode. And now we get a second Mordo from 838. Now you could argue the Illuminati were villains, but I would argue they weren't the villains. They were trying to protect their universe. So they were, they were adversarial towards Doctor Strange, but I, I don't list them as villains because I just, I don't think that's fair. Uh, but Mordo... 838 Mordo was, was sketch from the beginning. Uh, so two dead and two alive. And I do think Mordo is, is we're going to see them again. We're going to see him again. I mean, we're going to see a lot from 838, I think, probably in Secret Wars. But yeah, Mordo, he, he's not happy. He is not happy with happen, what happened. Uh, Miss Marvel brought us Anadja and the Clandestine. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not even going to include the other members of her group because they, I don't know, if, I don't remember if they had names, but either way, she was the main villain. And then Agent Deaver from Damage Control. Um, I mean, you could argue Cleary, Agent Cleary in No Way Home was, was obnoxious, but he was doing his job. She made a villainous turn in this. I think she is more than likely in jail at the end of this. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, Nadja is, is, uh, is dead. Uh, I, it sure looked like. Uh, maybe not, but it sure looked like she was dead. Uh, Thor, Love, and Thunder brought us Gore and Zeus and Hercules. Um, and by the end, no more Gore, but man, Zeus and Hercules, they're, they're going to be back, uh, clearly. Really going to be cool to see what happens next with them. Uh, and finally, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Uh, brought us just in the couple, first couple episodes, and you'll see why I'm including this because I do think it's important. Uh, brought us Titania and brought us Abomination, and of course, both lived. So that's brought us up to speed. We have 60 dead. Uh, I honestly would have thought the versus 50 alive. I would have thought the ratio between dead and alive was higher. I thought more died than were alive. I was quite surprised to see that 50 were alive. And in fact, if you throw in the reformed. Technically, it's 60-60. Now, granted, the Reformed are no longer villains, so that doesn't count. But I, I'm surprised. I thought there was more dead than alive. But I also was surprised 60 were dead. Holy mackerel. I mean, Marvel wasted, you know, killed 60 villains. 
Uh, that's it. That's amazing. So let's make an analysis. We're going to take the 50 that are alive. I'm going to assume reformed, stay reformed. So the 50 that are alive are here on this slide. So let's group them uh, and kind of talk about what might happen with uh, what I call the state of villainy here. So on the top row, top row is what I really call the you know, non-superpowered uh, and folks that are working for different organizations, whether you have a Hydra as represented up there, the Kingpins organization, uh, Damage Control, Sword, uh, Senator, Vice President, more of the Kingpins organization, Justin Hammer, businessman, uh, Sonny Birch, businessman. So none of them have powers, but they've all caused a lot of problems. And I, I think any of them could reappear. Uh, that we're gonna, in fact, some of them may even be scrolls. I'm looking at you, Haywood. Um, so it'll uh, be interesting to see what happens next with all of them. Then you have what I would call the heads of criminal organizations. So these are folks that are in charge. You know, and I think it's going to be interesting to see if Kingpin, Sharon Carter as the power broker, and Jai Ling, maybe they go head to head. You, know, you can only have one ultimate criminal organization. So they're either all working for each other or they're working against each other. We'll see. Then I have what I would call like Spider-Man's rogues gallery. Uh, again, uh, all of them are alive, Ugh, other than Vulture. I don't know. Again, I don't know. <laughs> Please come back, Vulture. Anyway, uh, they're all alive and should make appearances in later Spider-Man um, uh, movies, I hope. Then you have the next row, and this is why I included Titania. I think we're looking at the Thunderbolts right here. Uh, obviously, the actor that played Ross is dead, but I think he'll be at least mentioned in why it got the name that it did. You got Val. I think Zemo's going to run the team. And then between Abomination, U.S. Agent, Ghost, Yelena, Titania, and Ghost, or, or sorry, and Taskmaster, I think they're all going to be the Thunderbolts. I think Goliath might come along because of Ghost. You know, she needs help controlling herself. At least he'll be mentioned if he doesn't come along. But that's a pretty cool team. If that's the Thunderbolts, I'd be happy. Obviously, whatever they give me, I'm going to be happy with Thunderbolts. But that'd be a cool lineup. Uh, then we have the leader all by himself. But I really think he's coming back in She-Hulk. I'm crossing my fingers. Then we have Sorcery Row. Um, boy, can you imagine if all of these uh, guys and gals teamed up? Woo. Oh, man. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen. But wouldn't that be interesting? But still, these are all the, um, the sorcerers. Uh, then you have kind of the aliens. You know, most of these are the Kree that we saw in Captain Marvel, but the Shatari are still around. It'll be interesting to see if any of them end up coming back again. And then the last row, I look at kind of as cosmic um, or godly, but basically off of Earth. Uh, you know, you've got Zeus and Hercules, uh, Red Skull, who knows where he's going. You know, Aisha, Grandmaster Collector, uh, Ramona and Kang, we're obviously going to see again. Uh, the Ultron, uh, Arisham, and Dormammu, or Dormammu, sorry. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how each of them uh, come back into play, if at all. Uh, so overall, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool state of villainy. I would say the state of villainy is strong. You always give a rating in those state of the unions. So the state of villainy is strong because 50 villains still left alive. That's not even including the new ones that are coming. Wow. So beware. I, I hope the heroes are ready. Uh, you might remember from an earlier video I did, there were 55 heroes that were still alive. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's 55 plus 50, that's 100, 105 heroes and villains in the MCU, all still alive. That's pretty amazing. But anyway, the state of villainy is indeed strong. So let's end with a quote from the uh, infamous uh, and awesome Stan Lee, Bring on the Bad Guys. Um, it was a great book that he wrote. Man, a long, long time ago, probably in the 70s. Bring on the bad guys. We're ready. So there you have it. That is the state of villainy in the MCU. Uh, if you'd like this video, I'd, I'd, that'd be gratified. That'd be awesome. And if you'd like to subscribe, even better. And then there's some more videos you can watch. And while in the meantime, we all get to enjoy the ever-expanding, ever-growing Marvel Cinematic Universe.